Welcome freshmen, I'm Christian. I'm Allison. And I'm Johnny. It's freshmen just entering the shop. I know you might be wondering, what do drafters even do? Drafters create drawings that can be used by a manufacturer to construct a part. Breaking news! Orthographic projection is a way to draw a part two dimension. This approach to drawing this involves showing the three principal dimensions, the top view, the front view, and the right side view. Sorry, you got a pinky promise to tell us all your secrets, okay? All of them? All of them. Is it true that you have been going around several schools instructing students on first and third angle projection? Demetrius, get back in the corner! Oh, not to brag, but yes, it's true. Would you like to see the video that I made? Yes, I would. Hello freshmen, today I'm going to teach you about how to draw in first and third angle projection. This topic is a little confusing, but I think you can understand it. So right here I have this block and it has an F on it. That F, it stands for front view, okay? So the way that first angle projection works is that you draw way differently than you would in the United States and Canada. First angle projection is used in most countries, um, United States and Canada, and maybe a few others are some of the only exceptions. So um, here's what you would do. So you see this is the front view. That's what we see and we call that the front view. However, in Europe or another country, how, would you, how you would draw this is that, let's say I put ink all over this side. This is the rear of the front view. I put ink all over it and I took this piece of paper and I went like, and put ink on that piece of paper. They would draw what they see, what's behind it. However, we draw exactly what we see. So for example, that's what they pretend, you can think of it similar to a stamp. In our views, however, let's say I fold the paper around this block, okay? And the way that they call this is they call it the glass box theory. Similar, it's basically the same thing as third angle projection. So now I have this folded into a box. It's folded around the paper. So now when I unfold the box, let's say the whole cube was dipped in ink. When I unfold the box, what you have left are the sides that the box is folded around. That's how we draw third angle projection. You draw it just how you see it. And that is also what we call the glass box theory. Recently, we have heard news that Johnny from Kathmandu just discovered all the equipment you need to produce a proper orthographic drawing. Let's cut to Johnny. Hi guys. Here's the equipment you need to produce a proper orthographic drawing. First is the drawing board, which is where you're going to basically draw your drawings. Second, you're going to need your pencils, which 2H, 4H, and the H. The 2H is used for object lines, hidden lines, and center lines. The 4H is used for construction lines, and the H is used for border lines. You're also going to need paper. Graph paper right here is used for sketches, and copy paper is used for mechanical drawings. You're going to need drafting dots to fasten the paper to the drafting board. You're going to need triangles both the 45 degree and the 30 or 60 degree. You're also going to need the 90 degree angle found on both of these. You're going to need a T-square right here to make straight horizontal lines. You're going to need both your scales, the architect and the metric. Straight to us from the headquarters back in the realm of nightmares from whence we all came, we have received slides explaining to us how to create the perfect orthographic drawing. Let's review. Today we learned what drafters do. How to draw first and third angle projection. How to draw orthographic projection. Oh, and um, uh, how, how to, all the equipment you'll need to uh, draw, yeah. Thanks freshmen for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just remember all the tips and things that we told you and you will succeed. Oh, I died again. I don't know what you did. Bye. Bye. Eh.